first they came maybe you've heard this phrase referencing this poetic expression before it may not be a big deal now but for those of us who can recognize patterns in TV in movies and games in the economy but most importantly in groups of dyed haired people who screech about inclusion and equality yet exclude and dismiss people based on what they are these people like to ask what does woke mean to you it doesn't matter what you answer unless you agree you are not an ally in January of 2016 MTV believed the word woke a necessary part of vernacular for young people that was seven years ago now and the assumed definition of woke was to figuratively be awake alert or aware of cultural issues by 2017 the word woke was entered into the Oxford dictionary and by 2018 the word was being used in a derogatory sense a verbal eye roll to the lazy activism poisoning some media by 2019 parents and politicians easily understood the colloquial use of the term and by 2020 woke was firmly and internationally understood as an ironic term specifically as it contrasted what it was initially meaning only the confused lonely twitter shut-ins and reddit moderators would be confused about how people mean it these days and in fact are often quick to anger at the very use of the term because they reject how the majority defines it however just as the term gay shifted from being majorly understood as meaning happy times change and only those lacking social awareness can refute that please like subscribe comment or correct me below because that pendulum's coming back so fast that we might miss it if we blink so as of july 27th 2023 according to kyle what makes media woke in two words identity politics in more words agendas infused into heavy-handed messages that often compromise projects not all woke projects are ineffective boring stale failures but many of the projects made were so mediocre sanitized and underwhelming overall that they could never have supported the extra weight of woke as it stands it's currently used as a weapon to trick guilt shame or otherwise manipulate people into cooperation and accepting <laughs> the message but as mike stoklasa might say you may not have noticed it but your brain did low quality as insincere as a brand changing its profile picture for pride month many woke content developers can't resist forcing their irrelevant ideologies into these narcissistic projects with self inserts of themselves the clunkier the better the more out of touch the better some of us have consumed so much b movies and anime that we've been laughing at absurdly inorganic expository dialogue for most of our life but terrible writing and woke media gives even lazy anime a run for its money disney is currently broke and learning a lesson about forgetting quality creativity imagination you name it in favor of forcing what does not naturally work there's larry fink ceo of blackrock's favorite word larry says you gotta force changes because that doesn't sound rapey to anybody right see woke is a spirit of offense to things as they are and the list of unacceptable offenses grows exponentially every day this is why you can't name a comedian anymore because none of them are truly even allowed to be funny most of us find Chappelle hilarious others may be more into Bill Burr I can enjoy both of them personally but the woke hate Chappelle they hate anything or anyone willing to broach a subject that they have deemed off limits but maybe you like me don't need to be Egyptian to see the issue with a historically inaccurate black Cleopatra that needs to be pushed as a documentary instead of the fiction that it is I did not need Bruce Wayne 
Jean-Luc Picard, Luke Skywalker, Major Motoko Kusanagi, or Spike Spiegel to be black men, to identify with their characters and appreciate the stories they are in. Believe it or not, there is more to them, to me, than their surface appearance. A program and a message that you think some of these clowns would want to get with, considering the way they look. The West is disastrously and organically influenced by Asian art's impact, the Genshin impact. And if the trans people want to refute it, remember the VTubers that are the easiest way to get people to actually like some of you. This art isn't compromised because some preachy pipsqueak that doesn't know the Kool-Aid's flavor is allowed to decide that it's too this or too that. Yet, Westerners see this deconstruction, this demolishing, the degradation and devaluing of natural appeal, and they cheer. Appeal. Asians, AI, anime, and now aliens have gifted us data that will not be ignored. Not by the media that survives, anyway. Because currently, many kids that might have had decadent Western toys and games to obsess over are finding nourishment in foreign media. You know, they're being pumped full of shitty pride garbage at school, and what choice do they have? If you know film, you know how impactful the works of Ghibli, Satoshi Kon, Kentaro, uh, Masamune, Shiro have been. How on brand for the woke Westerners to take offense to Scarlett Johansson being cast as the major in the Ghost in the Shell movie. The whole point is that appearance isn't everything. This is an assumed form in the context of that story. But ironically, deliciously, no one can tell you narcissistic fools that you're wrong because you always know better as you habitually fumble and faceplant. In the West, projects are deliberately developed with the intent to indoctrinate and manipulate the viewer, often child audiences specifically, into whatever the Black Rock, Hollywood, or foot fetish degenerates that represent these entities regard as the right way of thinking. They admit they regard the consumer as uneducated and they're gonna teach a lesson. And the platform they choose, bizarrely, is entertainment. The type that the everyman has to, in one way or another, pay for. So they're paying for uninspired, out of touch, overly sanitized, politically correct trash. With, might I add, deliberately ugly women with shorter hair and broader shoulders, bigger jaws, Adam's apples, you know? A dick and balls? <laughs> you can't captivate anybody right now, so you don't have to ask if it'll be remembered. These forms of media united us and gave us an outlet to share with loved ones, friends, and soon-to-be friends. But now, the perpetually offended have decided that we are not allowed. They've decided that uh, feminine beauty is offensive. They've decided that dwarves are offensive. If you explore the desires and interests of these same pearl-clutching and cross-waving Twitter activists, you'll find exactly the kind of diaper-wearing furry feet and child TikTok thirst that you'd expect out of a Catholic priest. Rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. They'll cancel anybody that counters the message. And that should be all of us, because we ain't them. But anyone who has to say that they're, quote, on the right side of history is the villain. Naturally, I don't give a damn who can't handle the truth. Not after all of this. You've tolerated it in silence, too. But if you stay silent, they'll come for one of or multiple of your outlets and it'll feel as though you've been deprived of medication that kept you balanced. The gaslighting, the guilt dripping, the shaming, the bad faith arguments. What does woke even mean to you? <laughs> I'm afraid all this 
playground sandbox bullshit doesn't work on those of us who are just bigger than you in every way imaginable. I'm afraid there are four lights I am most thankful for my ability to discern. Scrutiny allows us to access how best to act and handle situations that can quickly escalate beyond a point of no return. Most of us are not cops, so we want to de-escalate most of the time because there's no telling who's the most unhinged person in the room and who needs the smallest push. We only have one life with no one-ups out in this bitch. Lately, not only are these selfish, diverse types ruining media by demanding dinosaur-removing changes from the Jurassic Parks that they're adapting, they're so... The narcissism is so potent that in their mind, they are truly capable of better with anything that they touch, while paradoxically, they could not create anything and have it gain any traction on their own. That's of course why they are forced to seize these pre-existing properties like The Witcher or Snow White, Snow Brown now, only to fundamentally strip everything that made it what it is and likable right out of it. Disney promises one thing and then, you know, it's a lie, baby. What, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? Are these people inclusive enough? Is this diverse enough? We're, we're talking about equality, but you're not getting it. I'm over it. It's time to kick and laugh at these people because y'all had it coming. How many times? We're, we're, we're a parent at this point telling our kid not to run in the damn hallway and then he hits the wall. What are we supposed to do? Laugh and say, I told you so. That's part of the parenting. It's not bullying, my nigga. It's a bit of don't do what I'm telling you not to do because when consequence finds you, this is the finding out portion of the fucking around. You earned this cause effect. You want to dismantle? You want to deconstruct? You want to demonstrate demonstrably how devilishly dumb you are? Listen, manga out here running circles around you dumb motherfuckers. You used to know what graphic novels were and how to appeal. But now, manga is dominating the very comic book industry that used to inspire fans. The comic book industry willingly bent over and arched that back with identity politics, garbage writing, forcing terrible and unpopular characters like Kabbalah Khan is exactly why YouTubers are outperforming your sorry asses. And they deserve it too. Creators seize what is available to them in ways that you can't. These audiences are ripe. They're telling you what they want. No, it's never been easier with the way that the internet is now. But you're refusing them. You're refusing to supply what they demand. You've got it, but you just don't want to give it. You're repelling instead of selling. You didn't need to dig this stuff up and desecrate it, put a wig on it, attempt to get us to refer to it as courageous and brave. <laughs> it's not. You're not. What more is there to say? I love you. I I can't even get to the aliens thing in this video. This would be too long. I, I yeah, Honestly, with how bad media is and how dead Disney wants to be and how ugly women got to be in a video, guys, you'd think that there'd be like a, a Michael Jackson to dangle a baby off a balcony. So I don't blame people who, th who think this government stuff with the UFOs or the UAPs is a psyop. You know what I'm saying? But I love you. And I think we should turn over a new leaf. Stay out of trouble. Bye. Like and subscribe. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, you, oh wow. Those are those are huge. Why don't you let those out? Giggity, giggity, boing, boing. Shiggity, swing.